Hi all. So welcome to our new course, Master in AutoCAD. So in this course, we will be teaching you uh, to get familiarized with the drafting software called AutoCAD. And we will make you an expert in this uh, particular software. So AutoCAD, basically it's a drafting software that we, uh, that we use in order to prepare the drawings, the two dimensional drawings of a uh, particular, uh, particular building or a machine part that we are going to create or some structures or some sections that we are going to fabricate. So for that 2D drafting purpose, we will be using this AutoCAD software. And uh, so this uh, software is provided by uh, the company called Autodesk. So Autodesk uh, uh, is the official provider of this software called AutoCAD. So currently we are using the latest version of AutoCAD called AutoCAD 2024. And when we open this um, software, we will see this uh, window. So this is called the user interface of AutoCAD, the graphical user interface of AutoCAD, GUI. So this graphical user interface, uh, we are using this, uh, while we open this AutoCAD software, we can see this window. And here uh, from, this, we, from this window, we will be navigating to the projects and the particular projects that we use. So uh, at the top, you can see a symbol called A in, in a red box that indicates the AutoCAD. There is a dropdown uh, appeared in that uh, AutoCAD icon. If we click on the dropdown, you can see some options. There are five options. Mm, the first one is new. In order to create a new project, we will be using this uh, new option. And uh, if we want to open some already existing drawing, then we can use this open uh, tool. And here we can see some other couple of options. If we want to open some drawing, then we can use this open drawing. Then if you want to uh, open some drawing from AutoCAD web and mobile app, then we can use this uh, option. And if you want to open a sheet set data, uh, you can use this sheet open sheet set. And if you want to open uh, a sheet set manager, then we can use this sheets open sheet set manager. And there are some couple of sample files up, uh, available with an AutoCAD library. And if you want to use uh, that, or if you want to use uh, open that sample files, then we can use the sample file option. Then there is another option called drawing convert. And uh, it is used if you want to convert some drawings into some other format, then we can use this. And if uh, we want to compare some drawings and we can use this drawing compare option. And if you want to uh, recover some files, then we can use this uh, recover option. Then, uh, Going back, we can uh, see that same options available here in this quick access toolbar. This is called quick access toolbar. And under uh, next to that, we can see the version of AutoCAD software that we are using. Uh, we are currently using AutoCAD 2024. And there is an information center available here. We, we want to find some uh, tools and options available in the AutoCAD when then we can use this information center to get that. And then we can see the profile name uh, that we already created with Autodesk uh, that will be appearing here. Then there is another toolbar. We will discuss this toolbar later. And then uh, we can see the same options open and new here also. Um, basically, uh, uh, I'm a little diverting from this AutoCAD. Uh, we use two different unit systems for making the drawings. The first one is metric and the second one is imperial. If we want to create some drawings in particular units, it's called centimeter, millimeters, meters, etc., then that will be uh, under this metric unit system. And if we want to create some drawings in feet, inches, etc., that will fall under this imperial unit system. So based on our requirement, we can choose both the, uh, we can choose either from this uh, unit system. So if we want to uh, create a drawing in this metric unit system, then we have to create a drawing in a particular template. Those templates will be appearing under this arrow mark, uh, the arrow mark appearing next to the new option. Uh, you can find ACAD ISO.DWT. 
This ACAT ISO dot DWT means that uh, if we open that template, then the drawings will be in the metric queuing system. And uh, if we cannot find out the particular template uh, that we are looking for in this drop down, you can use, you can click on this browse template option. There we can see another template called ACAD. If we want to create some drawings in Imperial unit system, then we can use this template ACAD.DWT. .DWT is the format for the particular template. And if we want to draw some 3D, then we can use this 3D templates and, and the rest will be used for 2D drawings. And um, below that, we can see some what's new online help community forum. And what's new, if we click on this link, it will take us to the Autodesk website. And there we can see uh, what's uh, the new uh, things launched in the uh, AutoCAD or Autodesk. And online help, if you want to get some online help from the experts, then we can use this link. And there is another uh, forum called community forum. That community forum is used uh, if we want to discuss some thing, uh, some matters regarding the software with the peer group. And then we can use this community forum for the discussions. And we will we can access the help or we can get the help from the experts of the same field. And if we have uh, some problems with this Autodesk uh, AutoCAD software, then we can uh, contact the customer support for that. Then there are two options called AutoCAD mobile app and AutoCAD web app. Uh, and what AutoCAD mobile app, uh, we can download that uh, in our mobile and we can access the drawings and we can create the drawings using that app. Mm, similarly, there is a web app that's available. And here, if we move to this right side, we can see the files that we already opened using the software, recent files. And then there will be an announcement box where we can see the new announcements from the Autodesk uh, uh, web, uh, Autodesk software providers. And so uh, then there is another uh, tab called, this is called file tab. There you can see um, the different files that opened in the particular software. To start, we will start from here. And if we click on this plus symbol, uh, the new drawing will be opened. Okay, so I'm closing this right now. So from this start, uh, we can start the new drawing. So for that, I will be using this ACAD ISO DWT format. So I will be clicking on this new. So a new drawing will be opened. So this is the user interface of this drawing. Uh, here you can see uh, some more options in this quick access toolbar. This quick access toolbar can be uh, customized from this drop down. There is a drop down here, and those um, which are marked as tick is appearing on this quick access toolbar. And if you want to um, uh, add some more options, then we can simply click on that. Now you can see that is also appearing in this quick access toolbar. And if you want to some more commands that are not up available here, then you can click this more commands and we can add those things here. And next we can see the uh, version of AutoCAD that is uh, we are using. Then the drawing that is now opened then file name for that will be appearing here. And .dwg is the drawing format of AutoCAD. And then there is an information center there. And I already explained, we can see, we can uh, get the uh, support or we can uh, search the tools that are hidden. Then there is some other options available here under this. Um, this we can see a new, in order to start a new drawing, open already from an already existing drawing and save, save us. And there is another option called to import. If we want to convert our drawing to some other formats, then we can use the import option and export. We can uh, export uh, our drawings to some other platforms. Then publish, mm, we can use this for uh, making uh, and some printing or e transmit and all. Then there is an option called print where we can make the arrangements and make necessary changes uh, that should be appear under the print uh, 
then there are drawing out utilities we can use this for changing the units comparing drawing proper setting the drawing properties etc we will discuss all these in detail while we start a project then without closing the whole autodesk uh, or autocad window we can close use this option to close a particular drawing okay so that's the use of close option then here we can see some uh, tools and some other tabs um, and this this is called title tab, title uh, bar okay so um, below the title bar we can see the menu bar we can see some so much menus there and uh, from under from each tab we can use the tools that can be used while we progress a project and uh, that will really help us uh, to improve our drawings and uh, such that can uh, we can uh, make more precise drawings uh, here by using these tools available under the various tabs okay and uh, next um, we will discuss about uh, what the menu bars and how these menu bars can be used mm, for that uh, the first of all we will go to the home menu under the home menu you can see uh, we will go to that under the home menu you can see some more sub tabs uh, each tools are arranged in a particular way so that the user can easily access uh, those mm. and we will be uh, discussing that in detail so we can see some options for drawing uh, line there the options there are line then polyline circle arc and uh, these tools uh, can be used for making particular drawings or particular shapes so all the tools that are uh, required for uh, the making the drawings um, we can the, we can access those from the home home and uh, the sub tab called draw okay then there is another uh, option called where another sub tab called modify uh, next to that home tab and uh, this modify tab is generally used uh, in order to modify the drawing that we already created now, if you want to change the dimensions or if you want to copy that or if you want to cop uh, move a particular uh, item that we drawn in that drawing, then we can use the tools that are available under the modify software. So this is a very much useful tab uh, in order to modify a particular drawing. So this is very important and we will use these tools in detail. Uh, for making the drawings more precise and accurate. So the next one is uh, annotation tab. The annotation tab, after completing all the drawings, we have to mark the dimensions as well as we have to um, make the uh, denotations. Um, we have to make what we, we have to uh, include those things in our drawings. So for that, we will use the tools under this annotation tab. And the rest we will discuss while we start the project. And we have to explain that in very much detail. And below that, we can see uh, under this, uh, this tab, uh, we can see a, an, uh, under this file tab, we can see this uh, something written that is stop 2D frame. This top indicates we are editing that we, uh, this is the top view of the drawing. Uh, so anything that we draw on in this plane will appear in the plan view of the particular drawing. And in the right side, we can see a WCS. Uh, this WCS is a world coordinate system. This world coordinate corner, sorry, world corner system. This world corner system uh, and here we can see in which mode we are standing right now and uh, we can change this also and the, from there also and if we click on this top we can see some other options available here so that we will discuss why we start a project then the next one is 2d frame and if we click on this 2d frame some other options are also appearing in that particular uh, 
menu. Uh, generally, we will use this 2D wireframe for drawing the plan views. And like this uh, world corner system, uh, coordinate system, we will have another thing called uh, UCS, user coordinate system. Here you can see, uh, this is the starting point of our drawing, um, zero, zero. So this is X and Y axis. Mm, this axis represents the horizontal axis and the Z will be the vertical axis. And so this is uh, the user coordinate system. And we can see some grids appearing here. We can modify that also. And everything that appear in the window can be modified under the two that the tools available under this view tab. Um, if we want to close this file tab, uh, if we don't want to see this file tab here, then we can simply click on under the view tab. We can uncheck this file tabs. That will be um that can be disappeared and if you want to uh, make it reappear then go to view and under that uh, click on that file tabs that will be appearing again and at the bottom we can see a box called command bar that command bar uh, can be used uh, in order to type some commands and that command bar is very much useful for a beginner uh, while we start drawing in the AutoCAD. And for example, if we want to draw a line, then you can simply use a command called L. The line will be appearing. We can click that line. And while the uh, command is active, uh, they will it will guide us to what to do next. So now the line command is active. Now the command bar is telling us uh, to specify at the first point. So I will be clicking this as my first point. So next, the command bar is uh, asking us to specify the next point. So I will be specifying the next point. Then again, the command bar is asking us to uh, specify the other point. So I will be like this. And if you want to get out of this command, simply click on escape. Then the command will be uh, moved and we can move out of that particular command. And if accidentally it got closed, if we, uh, let's assume that it got closed while doing the project. But it is very much necessary. It's a very much useful tool uh, while we draw something in this AutoCAD file. So in order to re-access that or re relaunch that, we can use a shortcut called Control 9. Control 9. If we press Control and 9, then that uh, command box will reappear and that can be used. And below that, we can see uh, something called a model layout one, layout two. This model and the, everything that we draw in this uh, interface will be in this model tab only. And if we want to convert these models or the drawings that we draw here to a A4 sheet or A4, uh, A3 sheet, then we can go to this layout. So there will be a paper appearing here. Mm, and so everything that you can see the draw, line that drawn in that model is appearing here. Okay. And if we go back and turn off this grid, then coming back to, uh, okay, and I will discuss later. So this is the use of layout, how it appear on the drawing that will be appearing, that will be, uh, we can get an idea from that layout option. Okay, and next to that, um, we can see in which mode we are uh, landed. You can see this thing. If I click on this layout, then it changed to paper. Okay, so we can see in which mode we are standing. And next to that, we can see an option called grid mode. If we can uh, make drawings either in grid mode or we can turn it on or turn it off according to our will. If we turn it off, that will be disappeared. And if I turn it on, it will appear. Okay, that's based on our uh, requirement. We can either turn it off or turn it on. Okay, the next thing is uh, snap setting, snap mode. And so if we want to draw some lines in a particular interval, then we can use that snap mode that we will discuss in very much detail because it's very much useful tool. Mm, so the shortcut for that uh, is F9. And if we can, if we activate that, that a snap node will be uh, opened. See, we can. 
now you can see uh, some green lines that green lines are actually guide lines uh, that uh, that is based on the snap setting that we already done that we will discuss later uh, so i'm not going to that uh, now itself then the other thing is uh, orthogonal mode orthogonal mode ortho mode uh, this ortho mode is generally used uh, to draw lines uh, in 90 degrees so we cannot if that mode is on we cannot draw uh, incline lines okay only the lines in uh, 90 degrees will be can be drawn if that mode is on then the other one is uh, polar tracking this polar tracking is generally used to draw incline lines and we can set the intervals uh, which interval should be followed if we want to draw the lines uh, incline lines in this particular interval 15 uh, 30 60 90 120 then if we activate that and if we move the mouse cursor you can see some green lines that green lines uh, will be that particular line in that particular interval so this is minus 180 then i move that line you can see some green lines at 120 we can see the green lines at 30 degree and the, all we can see the green lines in every multiples of 30 so since we selected that from this drop down so these are the main basic tools that we use for drawing uh, for making the drawings so this uh, introductory class is just meant for introducing the software to you the user interface of this autocad software that drafting software so from the next class we will be starting a new project and we will use all these uh, tools to make that uh, particular project more accurate and more attractive and so see you in the next class so in the next class we will start the a new project okay thank you thank you so much